Ruby Frank, the mother known for her involvement in the now-defunct family YouTube channel, 8 Passengers, has found herself entangled in a troubling legal situation. This mother of six was arrested on two counts of aggravated child abuse, a grave accusation that sent shockwaves through her online community. Her arrest also saw the apprehension of her business partner and collaborator, Jody Hildebrand, who is the founder of the controversial life counseling organization Con Zions. These two women, creators of advice videos that have faced severe criticism for promoting a harsh style of parenting, now find themselves at the center of a deeply concerning case. For those unfamiliar with Ruby Frank and her family, they rose to prominence through their YouTube channel, 8 Passengers, which they launched in early 2015. The channel was a window into the lives of the Frank family, comprising Ruby, her husband Kevin, and their six children, Shari, Chad, Abby, Julie, Russell, and Eve. With nearly 2.3 million subscribers, their channel offered an intimate glimpse into their parenting style, their children's upbringing, and the unique challenges of homeschooling, all set against the backdrop of their life in Utah as members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. However, as of the latest update, the 8 Passengers channel was no longer available on YouTube, and the reasons behind its removal remained undisclosed. This development, coupled with Ruby Frank's recent arrest, has left the public wondering about the nature of the allegations against her. Family channels on YouTube, a genre that typically showcases parents raising their children, have faced growing scrutiny in recent years. The criticism directed at the Frank family is not a new phenomenon. Some parents have even lost custody of their children due to viewers reporting concerns about their behavior, while others have been accused of exploiting their underage children for views and monetary gain. The Frank family, despite their substantial following, became a focal point of criticism, particularly with allegations of child abuse. In June 2020, local Child Protective Services were called in after a Change.org petition demanded an investigation into their family dynamics. The petition highlighted a now-deleted video where their then 15-year-old son, Chad, revealed that he had been forced to sleep on a bean bag for seven months as a form of punishment for behavioral issues. The Division of Child and Family Services in Utah investigated but ultimately closed the case, citing unsupported claims. Further allegations surfaced, including instances where the Frank parents refused to bring lunch to their then six-year-old daughter at school after she forgot to pack one threatened to discard their children's cherished possessions, and deny them personal space. The strict teachings on parenting advocated by Con Zions, where Hildebrandt served as a life coach and collaborator with Frank, also drew criticism. In one video, Frank and Hildebrandt suggested that a child who did not adhere to their principles of truth might not love unconditionally and could face being cut off from their family. These accusations and the controversial content produced by the Frank family led to increasing concerns within their online community. However, it is essential to remember that allegations are not convictions, and due process is crucial in any legal matter. Ruby Frank's recent arrest in Utah on charges of aggravated child abuse, involving a malnourished child with open wounds and duct tape on their extremities, has added a new layer of complexity to this already contentious situation. As the legal process unfolds, the public will undoubtedly be watching closely, seeking answers to the many questions that surround this case. Her business partner, Jody Hildebrandt, faces the same charges.